I bought an almost portable Xbox 360 console. And in this video, we're gonna unbox it, test it out, tear it down, and see if it's any good. Got the box open, and by the way, I bought this from Mercari, and we got a little handwritten note here, which is always cool to see. But let's put that to the side and see what's inside this box. All right, we're almost there, and ooh, this thing is, all right, sell it right off the bat. It's looking sick. Let's uh, get this, oh, baby. Oh my goodness, what on earth am I looking at? Hold on, hold on, let me get this out of the box. All right, guys, so right off the bat, uh, yes, this is a 360. You can see me flip it to the front, and it's got this, oh, it's got this cool carbon fiber look to it, the faceplate, uh, you know, a replacement case, and then here on the top is where all the magic happens. We have this giant yellow plexiglass piece that covers up a gaping hole. So this is kind of funny. I went back to my message history in Mercari and found out I'd actually requested green as the acrylic color instead of this yellow-orange thing, but... Oh well, I guess. We also have an extra fan. We have a temperature gauge, I'm not sure what that measures. And then last but not least, we have this built-in seven inch monitor. I've never even thought about doing that, but that's just, just an awesome idea. Now, flip it to the back. Let's see what model we have here. It is a uh, 2008, uh, oh, it looks like it should be a Jasper. <laughs> One thing I will note is dude, these holes in the back are just like mutilated. Somebody who took this thing apart didn't know how to take them apart. But looking closer at this thing, it looks like the carbon fiber is not actually a replacement case. It's just a skin that to be fair, was applied very well. It looks really good. I don't even know what to say. It's the most <laughs> insane thing I've ever seen. Now, we had this other box over here with, I don't know if it's an extra screen or what. Oh, it's a hard drive, okay. And a remote, no controller. I don't think it said it came with a controller, so that's fine. And then we also have some random, what is this? Pokemon stuff? I, I don't know anything about Pokemon, but these cards look pretty cool. And yeah, we got this hard drive here that came out of that package and it's a 120 gigabyte hard drive. I, I don't know what's on here. Maybe the person who sold this to me left some games on it. I, I don't know, I wouldn't be super, too surprised considering he gave me like 12 games here, 15 games. We'll check those out later in depth, but man, let's just, uh, <laughs> plug this thing in and see what it does. And actually one more thing I didn't comment about is the fact that we have an HDMI cable just kind of strung out the back here, which is fine, I guess. That's just kind of how you have to do it with this screen mounted on the front. But yeah, let's go ahead and plug this thing in, turn it on and see what it does. So I got this thing plugged in. We're already getting a temperature readout. I'm not really sure why it says 95 degrees because it's not 95 degrees in here, Celsius or Fahrenheit. I don't know. Let's go ahead and turn it on though and see what happens. So three, two, one. Oh, we got life. Oh man, <laughs> there it is. I, I should have noticed, but I didn't even, I didn't notice it's got lights inside, which is pretty sweet. That must be what this remote here is for. Let's go ahead and try out this remote, see what it does. Oh, actually, never mind. This remote is for the screen, not for the lights. So the lights, I guess, just stay yellow, which is still kind of, kind of a cool aesthetic here. Oh yeah, there it is, dude. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. All right, first of all, I gotta peel off the screen protector. I have never seen anything quite like this. Let me uh, turn the brightness up and we'll get some get some action here. Got the brightness turned up and yeah, man, we got some profiles here and dude, I just cannot get over the fact that we have a screen on the front of, or on the top of the Xbox 360. We got this fan blowing out. I'm not sure what this fan is doing, if it's useful or not. I, I imagine it probably doesn't hurt. It's a tiny little fan anyway, but typically with an Xbox 360, you have air coming in the sides like this and then it gets pushed out the back by the fan that's in the back. So this could mess up the airflow there. I don't think it's big enough to really make a difference, but let's go ahead and start exploring this Xbox 360. So we'll start first on the small screen here and then we'll transfer over to a screen recording so you can see it a little, a little bit better. But I wanna get the authentic experience here first. And we got a bunch of, dude, we got a bunch of profiles. Even got <laughs> Obama da Obama. Let's start with this guy here. And uh, yeah, <laughs> oh, this is amazing. And the screen like doesn't look bad. It's actually a pretty solid screen, but man, this is, uh, this is crazy. Let's, <laughs> let's go ahead and pull up the screen recording so you guys can see it better. Let's just start with the opening tray and see if that works. It opens just fine. Let's go ahead and try to put in MW2 and make sure it reads up. I will say that I've had this thing just kind of idling for almost an hour now, no issues at all. It's not surprising as a Jasper. These things usually run great. But let's go ahead and start with, see if this game boots up and then we'll check out the profiles. So I'm booted up into MW2, not having any issues. Let's go back to the main screen and just uh, surf through these profiles. So as you guys saw, we got Jay Sanchez 08 here first. No motto, no bio, nothing, but we'll, we'll just check out the last time this guy played. Scrolling through here, it looks like the last time this profile was used online was 2012. First time it was used was back in 08. Okay, so this is like almost an OG. But let's go ahead and check out the other profiles as well. You know, I gotta check out Obama. And of course, it's <laughs> just nothing. Somebody just made that profile because they could. 
so I went through all these profiles and almost all of them had zero gamer score and just had never been played. But the strange part is a few of those very intentionally, like as you can see here, created avatars that were not stock avatars. So I don't know what's going on with this console, but of course we did see that there's 47 games on here. Now with the holiday season in full swing, you're probably trying to figure out what to buy for that special man in your life or even maybe just for yourself. Well, I have something that's better than an Xbox 360. It's the Manscaped Perfect Package 5.0 Ultra and this isn't just a gift, it's a full grooming experience. So let me show you what it's all about and thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. So first we have the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, which is the grooming powerhouse and comes with two interchangeable skin safe blade heads. And dude, this thing even has a built-in LED spotlight, just like your electric lawnmower at home that you, you know, use in the grass. And I mean, personally, I sometimes use the lawnmower in the dark just so I can take advantage of the spotlight. I don't know, that's just me. And get this, the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra has a 7200 RPM motor for full power and efficiency. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And hey, although the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra may steal the show, don't forget about the Crop Soother Ball Aftershave Lotion, the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, and the Shed Travel Bag 2.0, which is included for free. So if you want to give the gift of confidence, self-care, and impeccable grooming, head over to manscaped.com to get the Manscaped Perfect Package 5.0 Ultra. Uh, let me just scroll through here, and they, they might actually all be demos. Uh, let's see, any full games? We have three full games, uh, Game Room, Hexic HD, MW2, which is in the console right now. But then going back up here and checking out demos, we have 44 demos. This is, this is my man. Like this is probably exactly what my hard drive looked like back in 09, 2010, uh, where I just downloaded as many demos as possible and got as much free play as I could. Cause you know, who wants to buy a 50, $60 game when you could play Lego Star Wars 2 demo, Lost Planet Online demo, or even the, the Rocky and Bullwinkle. <laughs> I did not know there was a game for Rocky and Bullwinkle. Like, we, we, we gotta put this up. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's just like little mini games, I guess. I had no idea there was a Rocky Bull game, but that's, that's pretty funny. But anyways, guys, the console is working. Next thing I wanna do is check out all these games because this guy gave us a fat stack of games for whatever reason. We got Call of Duty 4 MW, MW1. Wait, hold on. <laughs> There's an MW3 manual in the Call of Duty 4 case. That's funny. Oh, next up, got the, the best of the lot. We got a Blockbuster Madden 07 copy. Nice, dude. I bet this thing's got a million scratches on it. And yeah, what did I tell you? Unreal Tournament. Dude, this one's really, ew, what is that, mold? And then last but not least, Titanfall. Yeah, hold on, we got a two-day free trial. All right, guys, try to redeem that. Let me know if it works. I would assume it's already been used, but you never know. But yeah, so this console is fully working. Next up, though, I want to put this in vertical mode and kind of just give you a view of every little aspect of this console and just to show you how it looks in the dark. So here it is in the dark, and guys, I got to say, this actually does look pretty sweet. It's so unorthodox with the screen up here. And I will say that taking a closer look, it appears there's LEDs kind of along the bottom and then along the top, of course, up here. And they appear to be white LEDs. It just looks like it's yellow since we have the yellow tinted plexiglass right there. Of course, I still don't know where this is reading from, but we'll find that out later. And then the, uh, the fan right here seems to have like a little hint of a blue and red LED. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. It is a uh, pretty sleek looking console from the outside. Now guys, next up here, I'm gonna throw a little wrench into our plans and I'm gonna turn this uh, semi-portable console into a fully portable console with this uh, little EcoFluid advice, which is not sponsored by the way, I just actually use this thing a lot. We turn it on, we'll plug it in and make this thing fully portable. Por fully portable. All right, got this bad boy plugged in. Let's turn the console on. There it goes. Oh yeah, baby, fully portable. Not plugged into any AC outlet except the AC outlet on this giant battery. But guys, here you go, fully, <laughs> fully portable. I would highly recommend this thing if you wanna ever charge anything portably or power your fridge or whatever when your power goes out. I've done that multiple times. I'll leave a link down below. But guys, let's go ahead and uh, I wanna do some thermal testing on this console versus another normal 360. So over here on our thermal camera, on the right side we have our normal 360, which is putting about about 94 degrees Fahrenheit out, in the, out the back. This one's putting out about 99. So it makes sense to me that it's a little bit hotter on this one because supposedly this modded console has been refurbished, thermal paste replaced. So it should be put displacing a little bit more hot air than our other just random 360 I have laying around. And then of course we have our heat from our screen on the top, which I don't think will really matter. And then of course we have our little tiny fan right, right there, which is pushing air out. But it's just interesting to look at the thermal signature of this modded 360. And of course, uh, don't pay attention to the thermal signature where there's the glass because reflectance kind of messes up the thermal signature. But let's go ahead and uh, let's, go, let's do the deed here. Let's tear this console down and see what's going on inside. We'll start by taking the faceplate off and it's actually coming off very easily. Looks pretty good. Yeah, you can see the you can see the skin just kind of wrapped around there. I will say the skin was applied very nicely. Of course, the warranty seal is gone from the front because it's obviously been opened before. So I got the side pieces off. This part might be a little difficult 
just judging by how it looks, but maybe that won't be too bad. Now, of course, we have <laughs> we have a little warranty seal here, I guess, from the seller on Mercari. Did I, did I even say I bought this from Mercari for $240, maybe? I don't know. But let's, uh, let's see if this thing will pop out now. All right, yeah, so those holes were definitely jacked up a bit, but I got them <laughs> kind of apart. Let's see what happens when they pop this bottom piece off and looks pretty, looks pretty normal there. Let's go ahead and take these screws out and see what the inside looks like. So we got those screws out, moment of truth. Let's see what happens when we take this top piece off and hopefully nothing falls apart or breaks. And okay, okay, actually went, to, went together pretty nicely. All right, so all I gotta do is unhook the HDMI cable, which will come out of place and kind of get out of our way. Let's just take a look at this back piece first. So obviously we have our temperature sensor, sensor and it appears that it's just hanging around in here. Well, that's not doing much of anything. It was just kind of hanging around here at the side, so it's giving us our intake temperature. I don't know what the point of that would be, but taking a closer look here, you can see down here in the corner, we got a bunch of LEDs, and they basically route, let's see how far they go. So uh, let me actually, let me take my phone and show you a better view. So here's the front of the console, obviously, and taking a peek inside, your LEDs start here, kind of wrap all the way around the side, and then to the back, and then they end here, and you get a little wire that goes around the fan and ties itself in. Then we have one more LED strip that wraps around the edge here. And I guess I should move the disk drive out of the way so we can see it better. All right, yeah, disk drive out of the way, LED wraps all the way around to there. So I actually do think these LEDs are run pretty well. Uh, basically what you wanna see with LED mods is you wanna see them run around the case so that they're not visible from like the, the see-through piece. So obviously looking through the plexiglass, you get the effect of the lights, but you don't actually see the individual lights is when it, that's when it looks tacky. And I'll throw some footage on the screen of a video from a few years ago when I bought this Xbox Series X that had LEDs just everywhere, it looked awful. But let's take a closer look at this cable assembly here. Now taking a closer look at the wires that are going to the top of the case, you can see there actually aren't any wires going into the fan. That's the original fan for the 360 where I thought some of the wires were tied in, but they're actually all tied into the power, um, the power cable that goes to your disk drive and they're kind of just siphoning power from there and you know, obviously being wired up there and giving power to all those devices. Now those devices up top are all pretty low power which is why it, the disk drive is not affected here. So we're getting power to the disk drive and to all these devices and having no issues. But let's, let's keep it disassembling this thing and I want to check if the uh, thermal paste was replaced because it claims to have been. You know what guys, I actually think I'm not going to take it down to the thermal paste because to do that I would have to remove all these LEDs around the outside uh, to get the board out and then put them back on. And these already had their adhesive backing taken off and placed here. So if I remove it, the adhesive would be, would be dead. I have to add some more glue or something and that's just gonna get messy. So guys, honestly, I think this was executed really well. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10, which I think is higher than any other rating I've given a custom console. And one part I overlooked that I think was actually very smart was to use a custom skin here instead of painting it. Every single painted console I've seen has just been subpar. So I think the skin was smart. And then everything here was just cut out nicely and it looks pretty good. You know, obviously it's a completely unnecessary mod, but I, I think it's cool. It's, an, it's a 360. If you're gonna mod any console, a 360 is the console to mod. But guys, let me know down below what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.